What's up, Cancerian Massive? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy, here to bring you another read. This is a bonus read for the month of July. You guys turned up in the um, in the readings throughout the month as far as your, your uh, views. And I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who continue to show love to the channel and come back for more. Thank you so much. You guys don't even know. It means a lot to me. And for those of you who are new, what's going on? This is D with 8th House Energy. Um, you know, I have to be brutally honest. I'm just going to, you know, let you know this is not a channel for lightweights. This is not a channel for people who are looking for sunshine and rainbows all the time. This is a channel for people who want to know what's going on. They, uh, you know, everybody says they want the truth. But then when the truth is put in front of them, they either act like they don't know what to do with it. Or they act like they don't hear it or they deny it. You know, I'm going to put the truth out here for you. It'll help you to determine what's best for you, you know, but at least you have a different perspective or you have some more insight that you may not have had prior to you making a decision that's best for you. The eighth house energy, those energies deal with sex, death, money, uh, other people's money uh, in the form of wills, estates, inheritances. It also deals with crime. Uh, so we're dealing with other people's money as far as illegal or legal. You know, uh, we're dealing with power struggles, okay, whether it's someone trying to out, uh, you know, overpower you or you have some inner demons that you have to fight with, all right? Um, we we'll also deal with the occult and psychic abilities, all right, and mysticism, all right? So we deal with a lot of that energy as well. So we'll be able to see if somebody's been doing spell work. We'll be able to determine, you know, using astrology and other occult tools, you know, to fine tune in on what's going on. So with that being said, let's see what we got going on for my cancers. <clears throat> this is a general read. It's not going to resonate with every every cancer placement. Just take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? Cancer energy. What do we have for my cancers for this reading? What do they need to know? Messages for the cancer collective. <clears throat> what do they need to know? Leo energy, the strength card, major arcana, the first one out, okay? Leo season is prominent. We're in Leo season right now. So this could be an energy uh, representing what's going on right now. We have the eight of swords who came out after Gemini energy. What else do we have for the Cancer Collective? What do they need to know? Okay. We have the moon, another major arcana. This is Pisces, but sometimes I see this as you because you rule the moon, okay? But me as a reader, that's how I see it both ways. So I feel like this is you showing up in the reading. Uh, but there's very intuitive energy here. You know, it's interesting the Eight of Swords shows up right next to the moon because to me, the Eight of Swords has to do with your intuition um, heavily. You ignoring it or you, you know, um, not maybe trusting what you're feeling. But some of you are trying to... Um, Maybe there's some fear here and you're trying to control your fear about a situation. You're not sure what's going to happen or what's going on next or what the process is. I feel the energy of just not knowing and kind of being nervous about it. What else do we have for cancer? We have uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is uh, Virgo energy. This could be in relation to your family, your finances, your job, um, you know, seeing value or worth in a situation, some type of investment. Okay, we have the five of pentacles that came out in reverse. So that is a uh, Taurus energy. Somebody is debating on if they want to come back to somebody. They want, may want to reach out to someone, but they're not sure how this person is going to receive them. Uh, we have the Six of Cup energy in reverse here. This is somebody from their past. This could be uh, karmic in nature as well. You know, when I was doing your, um, when I was shuffling before I came on, I kept hearing um, the Chris Brown and uh, Jordan Sparks song called No Air. <clears throat> I kept hearing that and I kept seeing it. Um, and it just came to me all of a sudden. I ain't heard that song in years. We got the Three of Wands energy in reverse. All right, so that is Aries energy. It's like 
I kept hearing, got me out here in the world so deep. Tell me how you going to be without me. If I ain't here, it's because I can't breathe. Well, if you ain't here, I just can't breathe. No air, no air. So for some of you, I feel like you may want to go back towards someone or someone may want to come back towards you. But they're afraid because they may feel as if they'll be rejected. So yeah, somebody feels like they can't breathe without you. Yeah, we got the Seven of Pentacle energy in reverse here. Major, that's not a major arcana, but um, that's Taurus energy as well. What else do we have for uh, Cancer? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One more card. Queen of Swords, Libra. All right. Underneath the deck, Queen of Wands, Aries energy. All right. This is somebody who, you know, the queens represent your emotions and feelings for me anyway. Um, so with the queen of wands here, this is somebody feeling inside. They're feeling as if they have control over a situation. They're feeling powerful. They feel uh, confident. This is somebody who knows their worth, their value. They know that if they approach somebody and someone turns them down, that is like, OK, it's your loss, not mine. And, you know, they attract people to them. This is the type of person who will um, who has this energy about them. You know, um, people see them and they just may, you know, stop and take notice. Um, but this is somebody who will not be missed. OK, uh, as far as, you know, when they walk into a room, like everybody's going to see this person. Uh, but this is how somebody feels. So I feel like somebody's building up their confidence to reach out to somebody. is what I'm feeling for some of you um, with this Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups energy in reverse. This could be somebody feeling uh, that the past is the past, that they have to let go of the past. I feel the energy of somebody saying, you know, hmm. we got these pentacles here in reverse, the seven and the five, there's 12 pentacles. What's the number 12 major arcana? The number 12 major arcana, actually, we got uh, 22 pentacles, 23 pentacles. Mm. Okay, well, that's a lot of pentacles. So I don't know if somebody is having some financial difficulty and they may want to reach out to someone for help. But they maybe they feel that they can't because they don't have... Somebody may want to uh, connect with someone... Uh, but they don't have money. Somebody's afraid that somebody sees them as somebody who betrayed them, who was disloyal, dishonest. Somebody might want to come out and tell the truth about a situation is what I'm getting here. And they feel that that would put them in a position where they would be in control of what's going on. They would be able to gain control of the situation. Because it could be that somebody was doing something with someone and now people are starting to see things backfire. And so somebody wants to come out and tell the truth of a situation. So that they don't, you know, I feel like there's ramifications coming from someone's behavior. Okay. But I feel like someone was deceitful or someone did someone dirty with the seven and the five here, which equals twelve. And when they know the major arcana for the number 12 energy is the hangman energy. And since these pentacles, the seven and the five of pentacles in reverse, come, they come out in reverse. So to me, I'm looking at this like um, somebody uh, did something dirty to somebody in reference to their money, trying to stop their money flow. Or somebody tried to deceive somebody over money. Somebody's trying to control somebody's money. I feel like somebody tried to control somebody's money, but they see it's not working. And if this person is doing this because this person doesn't want this person to move on. They're mad because this person moved on. They can't accept the fact of the reality that this person's decided to move on away from them. I know the camera kind of looked crazy, y'all. Sorry. 
but I showed you all the cards anyway. So, yeah, uh, I feel like this is what's going on in here. There's somebody who is trying to control a situation because we got the strength card and the uh, Queen of Wands energy here. So somebody's definitely trying to be in control of a situation here of some past Hmm. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, somebody did you dirty. Somebody tried to do something in reference to your money. Um, maybe they tried to take money from you. Maybe they were around you for the purpose of money. They may have known that you wanted a relationship or a connection. They may have come to you in the guise of let's be in a relationship. When, you know, that really wasn't the case. I do see here the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So... Hmm. Justice. Eleven Pentacles. So we have the Justice Energy, Major Arcana of the Justice Energy with the Ten and the Ace of Pentacles, because that's eleven pentacles, and to me the number eleven major arcana. That is justice. So I feel like somebody is getting their just due. Somebody is being seen as a as a traitor, as someone who was deceitful. Something is coming back to somebody. It looks like something may be coming back to someone and someone's trying to maintain control over the situation. Because here's the Queen of Wands energy here, clarified by the Nine of Cups. Yeah, someone wanting wish fulfillment, wanting things to go their way. So they're going to come and be truthful with someone because they want to reconnect with this person. But this person has them blocked. All right, this person has them blocked. And I feel like there's an energy of disloyalty here with the Hierophant energy in reverse. This is about either a marriage or a relationship or family because we got the uh, Ten of Pentacles energy here and the Hierophant energy in reverse. Six of, Pent Six of Cups in reverse too. So this could have to do with somebody's child, an adult child, doing some dirt, doing some damage, uh, and somebody did not know about it. Um, this could be uh, family members. More than one family member getting together, doing something to uh, take advantage of somebody else. There could have been family members who got together to take advantage of you in some way, to try to drain you for money. Yeah, you know, I feel like with this Queen of Wands and the Six of Cup energy in reverse, it's like for some of y'all, y'all kids and y'all everything. So whenever y'all kids call, y'all send them whatever they need regardless. And it could be that, you know, there's some bullshit going on. Um, I don't even see, here's the Queen of Swords, Libra energy here. This is somebody who, um, I feel like for some of you, you got a, a, a parent, the kid's parent is playing the kids against you. Because they know how you feel about your kids. They know you'll do anything for them. And they want you to get back with them. And so they use the kids to play on you or play against you in some way, shape, or form. Because this person can't breathe without you. Okay, here go the air right here. <laughs> they can't breathe. I feel like for some of you, you took the financial, uh, you know, the financial stability you were giving this person. You realized that they were doing you dirty. And so you took, you took uh, back control. Some of you are questioning, like, is this person really doing me dirty, playing with me with my kids or... With family members or siblings, you know, cousins. So it could be cousins who are working with, you know, a child's mother or a child's father. And it could be, uh, you know, kids too. But there's some family deceit here. All right. Family members doing some dirt to another one just to, uh, I don't know, maybe this person doesn't want to be with this person anymore. But the rest of the family members are like... Now we're going to do whatever we can to keep, you know, this going with y'all. But yet, this person don't want to be there anymore. So for some of y'all, y'all got your family that y'all got to be careful of. Cousins, um, maybe older children who are in cahoots with the Queen of Swords energy here, which is the Libra energy. Um, as far as money, trying to get money from you. Trying to drain you of your money and your time because you don't want to be with them anymore. What do we have for cancer? Messages for cancer. Alright, I'm not going to take all those, but let's just look at them anyway. Because they all came out. 
Yeah, okay, so we got the world card. Yeah, I told you somebody don't want a cycle to end. High Priestess, everything is fine. Seven of Swords. Yeah, so, you know, this person is pretending that everything is good, but on the low, they sneaking and doing some shit. They're pretending everything is fine. You know, they're watching you online. You know, the High Priestess is online. Some of you, you know, you may have a following online. This person is watching you, but they scheming because they don't want the situation to be over. So they're scheming on you in some way, shape, or form. Like I said, for some of you, you got somebody who was trying to mess with your money trying to stop your flow your money flow and you may have found out about it or they're afraid that you found out about it but because I, I feel like they get in their karma for it is what's going on and so now they may want to confess and come to you uh with the reality of the situation or try to you know yeah i just feel the energy of somebody wanting to confess or tell on somebody else when they was working with a group of people and now they they see that the shit is starting to fall apart around them and they're like wanting to redeem themselves so that they don't, you know, get the brunt in like everybody else is. Yeah, Page of Swords energy in reverse. Libra energy again. Somebody not lying. Somebody not being honest. Somebody lying. Somebody not getting something. Not seeing something for what it is. All right, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. God damn, I told you people lying and intentionally lying. Doing shit on purpose. What else we got for Ten of Wands in reverse? Yeah, because you probably let this person go. Or the universe is telling you to let them go. It's too much of a burden. It's too much stress. Yeah, we got the King of Pentacle energy in reverse. They're trying to empty your pockets, trying to steal your health, your wealth. Mm, strength energy again. Okay, Leo energy. Trying to control you and manipulate your situation. We got the Four of Cup energy in reverse. All right, it's like this person needs to get over it, <laughs> is what I'm feeling here. They just need to get over it, or they're having problems getting over it, because this is your energy, Cancer. Four of Cups. Came out in reverse. Here, this is somebody who's not happy. They're not satisfied with what they have. They could be bored. It could be anything from being bored to needing to see a shrink. It's just, you know, it varies. It's like from one extreme to the other. But uh, whatever it was, this person is now over it. They're looking at things from a different perspective. Okay? So, which is good. So, it looks like somebody's coming out of a funk. But, um... Some of you, you know, you may have been in this connection for a long period of time. You may have known this person. Some of you may have been with this person for a period of time. You may not be married to them. Some of you may be. But I do feel like for some of you, you're not married to this person. You're not committed to this person. But you may have children with them and you may have been with them for a while. At least 10 plus years is what I'm getting here. But I feel like somebody's not being honest. Somebody's not speaking. They're not telling the truth about a situation. And I feel like there's a burden here. Somebody's... uh changing their perspective about something and um, they may want to reveal some ulterior motive that was going on uh, that's what I'm getting let me see what's going on page of swords in reverse for cancer what's going on with this page of swords in reverse for cancer page of swords in reverse for cancer please Page of Swords in reverse for Cancer. Somebody not having faith in the situation with the priest in reverse. Also, this could be somebody um, keeping a secret about doing some type of uh, ritual of some sort. Because the priest upright is somebody who, uh, you know, does things for good. In reverse, this is somebody who does things for their own ulterior gain or, or their own motive. And they could be keeping that a secret. So maybe this is what somebody wants to tell someone. They want to tell someone, hey, I know what was going on. Where's the Knight of Swords energy here clarified with? All right, I'm not going to take that. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? The challenge is maybe this person is not speaking to this person or this person has a challenge telling the truth, wanting to be completely honest. Yeah, see, I feel like the challenge is, is this person... They um, don't feel that this person may believe them or maybe some information came in about somebody not believing something. And the challenge is, is this person, they know something, but they're not saying what they know. The servant energy. This energy to me represents somebody who's single. Also could be somebody, I feel like this is energy of your spirit guides. 
somebody um, wanting to let somebody know something that's going on, but they don't want to tell the whole truth because they may have had something to do with the shit. And they see that the shit is coming back to haunt everybody. And so they look like, like I said, I feel like somebody wants to clear their own name. They were participating in some, some BS and now they see people getting a karma and they know it's coming to them or and or they're getting their karma and now they want to clear their part of the situation. What's the Ten of Wands in reverse? Yeah, they, it's a burden for them to hold this back. They've been holding this back for a minute. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse? Yeah, hope energy came out in reverse. All right, this person, they feel like there's no hope. What's this King of Pentacles energy in reverse? We had that clarified with the sorrow energy in reverse. Yeah, somebody was doing something manipulative. Somebody was purposely trying to steal somebody's money. Somebody could have been trying to steal somebody's energy or somebody's life. What's this strength energy here at the outcome here for cancer? What's this strength energy? Faithfulness came out in reverse. <laughs> Loyalty. Somebody's somebody's uh, concerned about loyalty here. Being loyal to someone. But somebody's changing their mind about a situation. They're changing their perspective in some way, shape, or form. Let's get a little bit more into this. Yeah, somebody knows something. What's this? Uh, the priest energy in reverse. Is the knight of cups in reverse. Yeah, see, somebody, um, the Knight of Cups is Piscean energy. Piscean energy is hidden enemies. So, yeah, see, somebody wants to tell somebody something about something somebody was doing. And for some of you, like I said, it could be manipulation. Um, the spell work could be manipulation. Someone playing with somebody's emotions or feelings. Or it could have been something else going on, too, with that Piscean energy. The challenge is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Clarify with the Servant energy and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, somebody wants to tell the truth. But they, they want to come off as if they're telling the truth. But the thing is, is that they're loyal to somebody with the service energy. So they're not going to tell the whole 100% of the truth. So they're going to come to you with this particular part of the truth, making it look like this is what the reality of the situation is. But it's some shit they're not telling you. Something else going on that they're not telling you because they're loyal to this person or whoever this is. Also, their guides could be telling them, yo, you need to say what's up. So this person is trying to figure out a way to tell this person only what they want to tell this person. We have the um, Seven of Pentacles energy in reverse. Yeah, so your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors with the Ten of Wands, the Hope in reverse, and the Seven of Cups. I'm sorry, Seven of Coin in reverse. This is the energy of... of uh, Somebody wanting something for nothing. This is the energy of somebody who's, you know, they realize their plan didn't work. No matter how hard they tried to do whatever, it, it, it didn't work. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it didn't work. So now they want to confess and come clean about what was going on because you know the ancestors are coming to bite this person in the ass right now karma's a beast we in the season of karma right now here's the queen of wands energy yeah see <laughs> yeah see somebody was they thought they were in control of the situation or they feel like they can control you now, this could be a, a negative, you know, with my readings, we got cancers who do the dirt and we got cancers who get done dirt done to them, just like with any other sign. So this could be a cancer who is doing this or this is a cancer who could be a possible victim of some bullshit somebody had going on. And now they want to try to clear their part in a situation because karma's coming back around or this is a cancer who's trying to do this. But there's a loyalty factor here with the strength energy here. And the uh, faithfulness card in reverse here. There's an energy of a question of loyalty, I feel. What's this uh, faithfulness in reverse? The Knight of Swords. 
or I'm sorry, the page of swords. Yeah, this person wants to communicate. But what happened was, um, I feel like there was some breakdown. Like, say there was a group of people trying to do something to a certain person, right? There was some breakdown in the disloyalty. Somebody may have found out something else that was going on more than what they uh, know. So here's an example. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use that as an example. Uh, there could have been some people who were doing something to somebody, right? And... Um, this person who was involved in the situation, who was on the side of the people who were doing something to someone, they were in cahoots thinking that, okay, this is the plan, this is what we're going to do. But in reality, they didn't realize that the people that they were in cahoots with doing the dirt was doing dirt to them too. Setting them up for the loss. Setting them up to take the fall. And so now this person is realizing this. You know, and they're they're starting to understand it. And so now they're looking at the situation like, wait a minute. Yeah. So now they may want to confess and let someone come. Because here go the judgment and the wheel of fortune in reverse. Yeah. See, now the universe is giving them their dose of their, uh, their karma here. You know, but this person, they knew what was going on here. It was somebody that they were involved with. Somebody that they were with for a long period of time. It could be their baby's mother, their baby's father, the husband or the wife. Uh... But somebody was being a player. Like somebody set somebody up. Like it could have been a man and a woman who were working together against somebody to, to steal their energy. With the Queen of Wands energy and the King of Pentacle energy in reverse. This is somebody who has no remorse with the Sorrow card in reverse. In reference to coming at this person and stealing this person's energy. So they could have been doing this to you. Alright. No remorse whatsoever. The thing is, though, is with the Page of Swords in reverse, the Priest in reverse, and the Knight of Cups in reverse, this person was coming at you in a very manipulative manner. You know, they were coming at you like they wanted a relationship with you, but in reality, that's not what they wanted. They were dealing with you and another person, and the other person was down with it as well. So the, the issue here, or the challenge is, is this person realizing that they were they were loyal to this person, but they see shit is coming out. And so as a result, now they want to come to you and tell you the truth about their part in the situation. But they're not going to tell you the whole truth. They want to make it look like, you know, it was the other people. But they knew what the fuck was going on. Absolutely they did. And so they see now, you know, it's not working. Whatever they was trying to do, whatever plan they had in place to try to take from you. Because this is wanting something for nothing. Taking somebody's money or their energy. They tried. With the Ten of Wands in reverse and the shit don't work. So it could have been some type of spell work going on and it don't work. And now, you know, that energy's got to go somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's got to go somewhere. So what it usually do is go back to the sender. So, you know, this is what's going on right now. I feel like for some of you, you know, this person was trying to drain you. Take your energy. Take your money. Okay? Um, put you in a position of lack in some way, shape, or form. Because they wanted to control you. But they were disloyal to you. And you realize that with the Page of Swords energy. But also, um, this person is realizing the people that they were dealing with were not loyal to them. Could have been family members, especially with the emperor energy here. But yeah, this person may have changed their mindset about the situation. They may have been depressed and upset about what was going on. Um, and they hadn't said anything. <laughs> They're keeping it to themselves with the king of cup energy here. Because they want to maintain control over the situation. But judgment is here, boo-boo. Judgment is here, and the situation is going to turn negative for anybody who was doing any dirt. So just know that shit ain't going nowhere for this person. You know what I'm saying? And they not good. The cycle is wrapped up. It's a wrap. Judgment is here. These people getting their shit. They getting their karma. They getting their dirt. It's a wrap. Facts. <laughs> okay? Facts. King of Swords. It is what it is. Okay? It is what it is. What's been hidden is that this person was doing you dirty, okay? And they may not want to tell you the truth. They may come to you with this King of Sword energy like, oh, this is the truth. This is what happened. You know, the the thing is, is, you know, this person was scheming on you or trying to, you know, take it from you or blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. You know, and with the everything is fine card in reverse, this person is acting like they don't know what was going on or that they had no clue what was going on when they really did. They really did. 
you know, with the High Priestess energy in reverse and the Five of Pentacles energy in reverse. These people could have paid somebody some money. Because here could have hurt Hermit energy right here. These people could have paid somebody some money to do some dirt to somebody. As far as, you know, spell work or something like that. Yeah. And so, this person was spending money. They ain't got no more money to spend on it, I guess. But they were trying to stop somebody's financial situation. Is what they were doing. Because here it is right here. They was trying to control your financial situation with the King of Pentacles in reverse. And they have no sorrow about it. They knew exactly what the fuck they were doing. Trying to be in control of your shit. Mm -hmm. Mad because you don't want to be with them no more. But they working with somebody. I don't care what nobody say. Is more than one person involved in this situation. For some of you, like I said, it could be some family members who are doing this towards you. It could be your ex the baby mother or the baby father and you know if you got an older child with this person or if you have cousins that may be on the side of the baby father or the baby like your cousins may be on the side of the baby father or the baby mother and they working together or it could be the baby father and baby mother they got family but somebody doing some spell work somebody was doing some spell work that's for a few of you, not for all of you, but I saw that here as well. And that's what they're keeping secret. They want to, you know what I'm saying? This is what they keep in secret. And they don't want you to find out that they had a part of it. They was in it. They was in it to win it. But they may have found out that this person was doing spell work on them too. That's where the flipper come in. And they're like, wait a minute. Let me redeem myself because I know the only way this, this, this situation is not going be the only way that this situation would be good in my favor is if I confess to this person of what I did and apologize. That usually is what happens, you know, if you want to quell the drama, you know, the karma that's coming to you, is you have to apologize to this person for what you did and confess to this person for what you did. And this person knows this. But again, they're trying to figure out what they can say versus what they can't say because they want to be loyal to whomever. They want to be loyal to themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this, is, this is what it is, man. This is what it is. Let's get some advice. Messages from my Cancerian Massive. Yeah, patience. See? Everything will unfold in divine time, and you're going to know exactly what went down, but you have to step out of the situation so that you can see it for what it is. It's very difficult for you to figure something out when you're in the midst of the situation. Right. So it's very important that for those of you who left the situation, you stay removed from it. And eventually this person will come to you. Don't worry. The universe. And if they don't come to you, you may get, you know, you may get some type of uh, message in your dream. OK. In reference to what's going on with the situation here. But uh, yeah. So let's see what else we got here. Yeah, they see, they feel bad for the shit that went down because now they realize the people that they were working with, they did them dirty too. Or set them up to take the blame for the shit. Mm -hmm. Addictions. Something going on with somebody with some addiction. Somebody could drink a lot or they could be drinking a lot as a result of the guilt and the remorse and the regret that they have in reference to what they did. Yeah, spiritual lesson. See, this person is learning their spiritual lesson. Um, and you had to learn yours too, but this is what's going on with this individual, man. Yeah. Yep. Shit backfired. Messages for the collective of cancer. What do they need to know in this situation? Messages for my collective cancerian massive. What do they need to know? Exchanging gifts came out in reverse. So if this person may come to you wanting to give you a gift to, you know, they could just, I don't know what the hell they coming to you with. All right. Maybe to get, but don't exchange anything with this person because exchanging gifts came out in reverse. So don't take anything from this person for sure because they could have put something on it. Don't take anything. Don't take shit from this person. You know, people could put curses on shit and bring it to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here's some flowers. Oh, here's a, here's a, you know, um, gift certificate or here goes some money. Yeah, don't take no gifts from this person. Don't take shit from them. 
because that's their that's their guilty conscience. But then everything that they're doing ain't working, so they could be mad about that too. Yeah, here's loyal heart in reverse. See, I told you about the loyalty here when I was talking about the strength energy here and the disloyalty and the page of swords. This person had I feel like this person realizes that uh the the people they were working with were not loyal to them. Yep. Yeah. This is what I was talking about with the service card here. This person is now feeling like, okay, well, I got to be loyal. Who can I be loyal to? I got to be loyal to myself. I can't tell the whole truth, but I got to tell them enough of what's going on so that I could redeem myself and not actually throw them under the under the bus. Because for some of you, it's, it's relatives. Some of you, this person was working with relatives and they don't want to throw their relatives under the bus. But um, I don't know. I see. I don't. I feel like you know they see some shit. Some shit is starting to happen, and so this is why this person is getting to this point. It's like they feel something coming. They see something coming. They see the negative energy, the bad luck that's coming around them. They're starting to see it, and they're starting to realize, okay, this negative energy that I put out here is coming back to me now. Return to sender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. See, things are changing. Shit is changing for this person. Definitely a change in the wind. The number 12 major arcana is the hangman energy. All right, so that's somebody who's seeing what's going on. They, they've been enlightened about the situation. It's like, wait a minute, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, time for a nap in reverse. This person can't get no sleep. They could be being haunted. Okay? You know, because of what they did. Somebody may be drinking. Can't sleep. Addiction issues. Their life is crumbling. Yeah, see, here we got dragon spirit. Truth transcends illusion. So, yeah. If you sit and be patient, you're going to find out the truth of the situation. And some of you may not even believe the truth. Like I said, for some of you, it could be some manipulative energy going on here. Spell work. Mm-hmm. Yep. What else is going on? Or somebody, if it wasn't, you know, manipulating people is a form of spell work, too. So, you know, we all do uh, spell work every day, all throughout the day. All right? There's magic everywhere. So, you should know that on my channel by now. <laughs> all right? But if you don't, I'm letting you know. All right? So, we have Vulture Spirit. It came out in reverse. This it talks about nothing is wasted. So, some of you may feel like you wasted your time with the situation. Or this person who was sending this bad juju to you may have felt like they wasted their time. Um, no, because what happens is it's coming back to you to bite you in the ass so that you learn the spiritual lesson. So as nothing is wasted, there's a lesson here. Some of you who are the victim of this individual may feel like, yo, I wasted my time with this person. They were a piece of shit all this time. They were disloyal to me. Yeah, they were. But don't look at it as a waste of time. It was a spiritual lesson. You had to learn... You know, based on what this person was doing and how they were moving towards you, you had to learn. There was some things you were meant to learn with this person and with this relationship. So it's not wasted. All right. And then we have uh, Nightingale Spirit. It says love is all around. So you do have people who do love you and support you regardless of, you know, this negative energy. So just keep that in mind. You know, self-love also is very important. Underneath this deck here, we have, yeah, see, we have turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace. So some of you have um, money, you know what I'm saying? Um, you're doing well, and this person was basically trying to take from you or trying to block your money. Uh, the universe is telling you, you know, you're naturally a generous, loving, caring person. You're naturally a giver. Don't allow this person to change who you are. You know, continue to be a giver. Continue to be generous. That is your spirit. That is your nature. But what you need to do is act accordingly. Meaning you will size people up to determine if they deserve that generosity before you give it to them. That could have very well been what the spiritual lesson is, is in this energy here. Uh, is for you to not jump in so quick and just give, give, give uh, all you have and who you are to people without them proving that they deserve it. All right. So 
And that's what I got for you, Cancer. If you need a personal read, feel free to reach out on my 8th house energy at gmail.com. I wish you guys the best.